it's hard to build websites today, um, case in point, the uh, velocity schedule from today, particularly on mobile. Anybody been trying to use uh, the schedule on their mobile phone to try and figure out what to go to next? Um, so uh, we have a tool called PageSpeed Insights, which takes a website experience and turns it into actionable suggestions about how to improve it. So in this case, there's a bunch of suggestions around improving the user experience, and there's others around improving the performance. So now you can go back and hack all of your JavaScript, CSS, and images and HTML. We also have a tool called PageSpeed Optimization. So, um, so while PageSpeed Insights is a great way to see what's going on with your website and how to improve it, Mod PageSpeed is a great way to actually implement those suggestions by installing a server module, an open source server module, into your Apache, Nginx, or IIS server and let it get kind of the boring stuff done for you. Some of these things are hard, like prioritize critical CSS. Some of them are kind of boring. So why not let your machines do that for you? But lesson number one, uh, that's not enough. So we can make the website fast automatically on mobile, uh, particularly this one, but that doesn't make it good. So uh, PageSpeed Insights will go into your site and say, hey, you know, maybe you should use some legible font sizes so people can actually see this thing on mobile. Maybe you should make your tap targets large enough that people can hit them with their fingers and set a viewport so that the thing comes scaled up correctly. Lesson number two, mobile matters more. The, um, um, you can make a pretty basic website and have it come up reasonably fast on desktop. I think this website is simple enough. It should come up faster than two and a half seconds. But to have it take more than five seconds to even start rendering on a repeat view on mobile, um, it seems like that's kind of below the bar of what I would expect for web technology in 2014. And of course, you know, the um, conference supplies a great app. So... Um, so you can definitely get the job done, but I, I think we should be able to do this job on a static website um, without having to go to install special software on your phone. So how do we get here? Well, one, compression counts. Um, this site has a couple of large JavaScript files that are not even gzipped. So this is uh, web server uh, configuration 101. Mod PageSpeed will also kind of just do this automatically for you. Caching is actually a little bit harder because now you have to balance, well, I'd like to have browsers be able to hold that JavaScript in memory as I go from page to page within a site, but I also want to be able to update that JavaScript and push it out to users in a bounded amount of time. And here it's a lot easier to use automated tools to automatically sign the URLs and be able to cache them in browsers and proxies for a year, yet also be able to change them and push them out to users in five or ten minutes. So... Of course, we run web page tests religiously, dive into the details and see what's actually going on with real user agents on, um, you know, that are deployed in places throughout the world so you can see what the experience is really like under the hood. And in this particular case, this is the repeat view on the Velocity Schedule site where we have to do multiple transactions, round trips, before we even start rendering, including running PHP. Next thing, just look at the HTML. In this case, it's really easy. You do view page source, and, you see, and you're greeted with a 10K block of inline JavaScript that has to be parsed and executed before anything else happens in the browser that has to happen on your mobile phone. Then you have uh, a bunch of other smaller things, and then a CSS file, which is actually cache busted and signed to the page so that uh, every pa page that you navigate to, including different pages of the schedule for different days, requires new CSS. So... This is a good way to kind of make the experience as painful as possible. Um, so beyond the velocity site, um, basic image compression matters. You would think that something as simple as getting the images compressed properly across the web, at least on the top sites on the web, would be pretty good. But we found that just using Mod PageSpeed's default compression, which is very conservative, we can actually... Uh, reduce by 76% the number of bytes that uh, JPEG files uh, come down to when you're serving them to an Android phone or a phone that's got Chrome on it, uh, as long as it can take WebP, or about 62% for an iPhone. Um, some of the images that we see, some of the photos are even served still as GIFs and pings, and then we can actually take 88% off the top without any visual difference. So this is all totally automated, and all you have to do is push a button to get it. 
Lesson number nine, use real, uh, real user monitoring. It's great to use web page tests to see the actual data, but until you actually see what your users are doing, you don't really know. So in ModPageSpeed, you can set up experiments to say 30% of your traffic goes, on, goes to this set of optimizations and 70% we can figure a different way and you can see what's going on in the real world. So lesson number 10, web performance is hard. There's a whole bunch of things you have to do manually. You have to get the, uh, you know, you have to make a good mobile site to begin with, but at least let automated tools do the easy stuff. There's some from us. We have plugins for Apache, Nginx, um, Apache Traffic Server, and IIS. And um, it's deployed at hosting providers and content delivery networks, and there's other web performance tools as well. Um, so use, use the machines for what they're good for, doing the boring stuff. Um, so learn more. Jan Mason has a talk at 115 in Ballroom F, making the web posh. And I have a talk on delivering optimized images, which is in Ballroom ABCD. Um, Google for PageSpeed Insights to analyze your site. Check out webpagetest.org, of course, you already know that, and modpagespeed.com. Thank you.